Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up those, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Paulie had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. With his face, he pasted it on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. I don't think so. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. No, it's coming right at me. Get out of the road. <laughs> Let's get there without broken necks, Tom. Sorry about that. Must be nice for you, some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Some hard times. Never gonna get used to the driving in this game. I've been looking forward to this all week. Wait till you taste the cassata, Tom. Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a. Don Solieri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent, bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? 
Sit, please. <laughs> and to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. <laughs> she told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. Ah, <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, <laughs> Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. No, you won't, because I'll kill you all. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! All gonna burn for that. We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. They're all gonna die. Ammo and the help. Look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this.
step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. <laughs> had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dodo by his dope? And my foot through his face. Oh, he's pissed. You don't know piss what? off the dawn. I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take worn. a guy in, you give him a place in your family, you give him respect, and this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. Jesus pay for it Christ, all. someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years, and the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off? Why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom. My face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed <laughs> casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Oh, yeah. Just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Ah! Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! They're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, please! I can explain! Think about this, Tommy! Playing in your grave! Please. Let me talk to the boss! I can explain everything! Uh, Tommy, you gotta know! Bro, he was gonna kill Mom! I had to do it! I had to! They made me do it, Tommy! Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Crunch. Now we're sure. It's uh, me, I'm hey, out here. How are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Put butter for the crunch. Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. That's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call them for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Much left in the game? I have no idea. Yeah, right with you. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach, Carlo? 
Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the enemy must have figured color was the rest. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. It's hey. war now. Just there. Uh... Keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. All out war. Going to the mattresses. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Thumb. From today, we are at war. Yeah, I know. I was there. <laughs> Haven't seen any trouble just yet. in there hey it true the Don slipped Carla the bump not you yeah it wasn't pretty still blood in his veins huh less than Carlos <laughs> keeping out of trouble I hope I want guards and lookouts round the clock here the warehouse and all our business how about the one who has the forget about them we stick to our own till this is over I'll remember who took the wrong side. No, nothing in here. What is up here? guys in place good we're finally going after her. soon but first we have to soften them up morel has got the cops the politicians and even some judges in his pocket we can't afford to bite them all off so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship <laughs> we bump off the Clever. right engine the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health first in line for the pine box is this asshole Galati the counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting <laughs> creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. 
Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. Got it. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. To get out of here. You go any slower down the stairs? Presidential address delivered earlier this year. This is extended over more than 3,100. Interesting speech. I got places to be. Attention, folks. Attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Patient. Come on, I cooked them fresh. The finest problem? family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this Aaron! after the horses. You got an invite too? Oh, did you hear there's gonna be fireworks? Uh, Dottie. It was like yes, I, uh, painted to land. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I got. Sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Mm-hmm, <laughs> true. May concern. Where's this guy at? Nice outfit. Know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. The lodge. After the, the speech, there's like fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there. On... You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. <laughs> You the new guy? Christ, you took your time, though. <laughs> you think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. There we go. Hey, you almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You 
You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. We got a rag there. Check every deck. This is the crew about the gender. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Listen, shipmate, go someplace else. Not to be rude. I think I got him in trouble. Anyone uh, who's drinking seems and to be on your steamer. boat ride. Yeah, <laughs> and us. <laughs> Anything interesting in here? Hmm. Letter. else in there okay guess that's all that's here you really should be elsewhere downstairs and back to work yeah I'm going I'm going the right way anyways what you think you're something you're not I have to be mean about it <laughs> seen the janitor any place nah but uh if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. He's a man with connections. Where else do you think the boots come? Like that. In there. Ah, you took your time. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. I'll take that. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Just look at what's over there. You can open the door, so. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going to give you a beat for starters. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? Can I throw him overboard? That's enough. <laughs> Come on. Where the fuck are you?
Find a vantage point. Okay. Don't mind me, just coming through. I guess it's gonna be interesting. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me. Huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Gonna Today eradicate you. Is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? I think it was a short speech. Done, nice. Ugh. I know you could do it, Lindy. Get a better shot! Go! Here! 
Not good. Stop them by. He's trying to beat Detroit. We can make it. Stupid BS only about 25 Barbies. Only 25. <laughs> <laughs> that could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you two are off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, yeah, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morel has killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. <laughs> hmm, the store's finally open. Family. The good old days. Here, Tom. That Cafone ain't gonna shoot himself. He's gonna need some help. Uh, I still can't believe he got by that train. I'm losing my touch. No, there's nothing in here. Let me out. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. There's one thing he's got, it's gut. He From the all news of desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime.
Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? That's a good question. I see. Yeah, want to make more noise, grunting. See me. Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. No, oh, no. Christ. Hey! Okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! And waitresses. Come on, we gotta push up. Get after him. Sergio's getting away. Tom, we gotta get Sergio. He went out the back. Get in cover. Over <laughs> him. Get your ass all right, all down. Down. Get me out of here. Hey, come on! Let's get back to the car. We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed! Motherfucker. 
Every guy we got down here now! He's coming this way! I don't have other guns. I found them. Oh, move in the cover. That's it. Move up to it. Good. Not good. Reloading. Holy shit. shit no. There he is. I have no health left. Yes, help. Nope. I see him. I need up a shot. Found him. Anything up there? Nope. Gonna keep massacring his men. Cover hunt. He's right there. He's coming this way. Here, have that.
What do I pay you for? He's tearing the docks apart! Hey, hey! Over here! Gotcha! Gain some cover! Get on his side! Any help in here? Oh, but there's ammo. Wait, help. That's on the outside, I think. Ow. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah, you shouldn't have but you did so you die get the signal box on it. Are they at? What do you want? Money? Oh, fuck was that? You just winked me, asshole. You think you're the guy? Gonna kill me. <laughs> what did I tell you? No one can touch me. That lucky bastard. Wait. No! Ouch. Ouch. 
finally got him. After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's got to be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morello and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public, in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. <laughs> 